Ello from 97.3 The Fan. Chris, um, I've known you for a few years now from my moment in radio, but yeah. okay, as an alum, you and I both graduated from San Diego State. Just your excitement as the team gets this historic victory. I mean, I think everybody was kind of, you know, uh, physically ill towards the end of the game. I mean, how did you feel? <laughs> I was ecstatic. I mean, I was jumping up and down. As soon as that official made that wipeout sign that the yeah. game was over, uh, I started jumping around the living room, and then I started crying. And I mean, the emotions. I mean, having gone to San Diego State and uh, and, and in the mid '80s, and and been through every heartbreaking loss that San Diego State has ever had, whether it be football or basketball, and the growth of this program. It was a moment to really reflect and just be like amazed. I mean, I I still can't believe it. I had to watch Sports Center last night just to make sure they really won <laughs> yeah. and that they've really advanced in the bracket and then pick up the paper today and say, "Yeah, they really did this." It's uh it's a dream that uh, I really don't think a lot of us thought would ever be a reality. And okay, so let's go back as we're looking at highlights and of course the final the final seconds there right you yeah. do the inbounds pass uh obviously creighton made the decision to foul there and and run that set piece right to see what the aztecs could present there yeah and then the foul do, what do you think what's your reaction to that well here's the thing i mean i'm a, I'm a high school basketball official now i'm not mm -hmm. a final four basketball official but one thing that officials are taught and, and it, it's from the beginning all the way up to where the level is these guys are now is that you don't want to decide the game. But here's what everybody's getting missing, the point that people are missing. If they thought that was a foul, and they obviously did, and you don't call it, then you're deciding the game that way. Mm -hmm. So it, for the people who say, I wish the game wasn't decided on a foul call, it wasn't. I mean, if the guy thought it was a foul, he blew the whistle, called a foul. Look, how many times has San Diego State missed the field goal? Yeah. How many times has San Diego, in general, had the call go against them? Sure. This is one for us. I, I'm not going to give it back. Would you have called the foul? <laughs> Probably, because I'm a San Diego State fan. They wouldn't have had me on that game. <laughs> well, well, there you go. So now, yeah. now we can look forward to Florida Atlantic. What I've heard from the Aztecs practices uh, throughout this tournament is they've been super upbeat. Um, that the team has really been gelling yeah. and just kind of keeping that positivity about them. So what do they have to do in order to come in confident to this game? I think the key word is believe. You know, I mean, they, we, we, they, they've said all along that they, they believe they were going to the Final Four. And when they were matched up against Alabama in the Sweet 16 and everybody said there's no chance, they, they thought that was just another stop along the way. They, they didn't put any extra emphasis on how great Alabama was. They put emphasis on how great they can be. And they expected all along to be in the Final Four. Now, we may not have believed along with them, but they believed. Now I think they got to believe, they got to re, reload and believe now that, you know, they can go to Houston and win this whole thing. I mean, you've come this far, you might as well get it now. And I think we can't, We've got to mention just Coach Dutcher, six seasons, yeah. just how incredible he has done in preparing these guys, these kids, yeah. in order to rise to the occasion. Yeah, he's he's amazing, and uh, I mean he has deflected all of the attention mm -hmm. onto his kids and to and to Coach Fisher. I mean that was the first thing he said after they beat Alabama was we wouldn't have been here without Coach Fisher. And by the way, Coach, happy birthday because it was Steve Fisher's birthday yeah. on Friday when they beat Alabama. But no, Brian Dutcher's done an amazing job of carrying on. This is a this was a win and an accomplishment that's been. 24 years in the making from the day that Steve Fisher took over and start, and he and Brian Dutcher would walk around campus handing yep. tickets out to students, begging them to come to games. And there was 150 people mm -hmm. coming to Peterson Gym to watch Aztec basketball. And it's come from that to this. Brian Dutcher, he will forever be in our hearts and our minds and our and our and our and our. We will applaud Brian Dutcher. I mean, Brian Dutcher and Darion Trammell. Yeah, they are they are etched in San Diego sports history now. All right, where will you be watching on Saturday? Uh, I'm a, I'm a I'm a loner when it comes to watching <laughs> games. I, I I get too nervous. I run around the house. My wife gives me a hard time because during commercial breaks I clean the house. Yeah, that that's my that's my way of handling my nerves. So. I'm probably just going to watch by myself and hope that it all works out. I'll wear this shirt. I've been wearing it throughout the tournament. <laughs> right, exactly. So, I'll, you know, I'll do that and, and just hope that they can win. I mean, it, I don't want to say everything's gravy now because you've come to this point. I mean, you really want to win it. Yeah. So, you know, but it, it's been a special run, and I mean, let's just hope it continues. All right. You think it can? Yeah, why you not? You think an SDSU? Absolutely. 
Of course. I mean, at this point, I mean, you know, they, they can certainly beat Florida Atlantic. UConn, if they meet them in the finals, which they probably will, they're going to have to play a great game to beat UConn. But, you know, they played a great game to beat Alabama, so it can be done. All right, Chris Ello, great to see you. Great uh, seeing you, Allie. And we'll talk again soon. I guarantee you that. I'll be here. All right, go Aztecs. Yeah. All right, well, we'll continue our coverage of the Aztecs' historic win. Well, we're going to continue.